they're going to start winding down but the reason why these birds have their feathers ruffled is because of spotted eagle owls so for those of you that are not familiar with uh, the spotted eagle owls, we have a pair that live in this drainage system that are fondly known as Mr. and Mrs. Wig and they have been had been nesting uh, but sadly something raided the nest and ate the eggs but it is nice to see them back in the vicinity they both of them were here uh, one has just flown to another tree but the other individual is just sitting perched quite nicely I will most likely move from this branch because it's going to get quite a bit of sun on it and owls don't like sun during the day but there are plenty of trees with dense canopies where they can take some shelter I don't know if they're going to nest again this year. Uh, maybe they will. I suppose only time will tell. It's not like it's too late in the year for them to potentially mate again and produce eggs. But um, but honestly, I, I I haven't got a cooking clue what might happen, which is uh, obviously not great. I uh, I need to have a look and see if there's more studies that have been done on that if their nests get raided if they they will breed a second time um, spotted eagle owls are however really lucky one of the more common species of owls to see across South Africa and in fact most people in big cities will see spotted eagle owls they're quite fond of nesting in and around the areas you're just turning its head desperately trying to get some sleep you can see those eyes are very heavy Will you're wondering how do birds find appropriate places to build their nests? Will they get a, a real estate agent to assist them with that? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. That's not that's not true. Uh, trial and error is a big thing. I'm sure when they're younger and inexperienced that they make a few mistakes. Uh, but it's going to be ingrained. It's going to be natural instinct as to what and where they should build their nests in and on. Uh, so, for example, for the eagle owls, they don't construct much of a nest at all. In fact, this pair of owls uh, like to utilize just natural uh, depressions along this drainage system where, uh, where they'll lay their legs just directly onto the, onto the ground, essentially. But um, some spotted eagle owls uh, will, will nest on top of, top of other bird nests. Um, some species of owls use natural cavities. And then you get, uh, you know, other birds that just make little sad stick nests, like the poor uh, ring-neck dove that we saw not too long ago, a couple of days ago. It looked like their nest actually just blew away. So it really, it really just depends. But uh, yeah, each bird is going to have a, a different, a different reasoning. I, I hope that they do lay eggs again this year so we can watch some chicks hatch and develop. We like spending time with them. It's nice, a uh, different character from constantly watching the big cats. And it's an invaluable insight to guides to be able to see that. It's, I'm always sad that I'm not here for long enough to really see them develop. I always just pop in and do some very short stints with Wild Earth. And look at that camouflage though. All the mottling on, the, on its back makes it blend in and look just like the bark. From a distance, it's actually quite hard to spot. It looks like a, a piece of the branch is actually just broken off. Look at that. Obviously, now that you know it's there, but you wouldn't be able to see the other one. Must I shuffle the camera? Shuffle the camera. There we go. Oh, where did it go? Okay, you're hoping that the pair of owls do nest again uh, in just a safer spot. I mean, the way they had it was pretty good. You had uh, tamuti trees behind it, so they wouldn't necessarily have to worry about a predator coming, you know, from on top of their embankment and, da and down because they were quite concealed. I was always just worried, though, if Mrs. Wig shuffled on the nest, they, would have, they could have eggs could have rolled straight out and down the side of the embankment. I don't think that's what happened, though. There were lots of broken eggshells inside the little depression itself. So I'm I'm 98% sure something ate them. I just don't know what. I didn't see any 
tracks or anything around but as discussed it could have been a monkey it could have been a monitor lizard um, I still think it was probably a monitor lizard I mean you can't rule out genets either there's so many critters that would help themselves to a couple of eggs are you desperately trying to get some sleep yes and here I am with my booming voice <laughs>